everybody, it's your boy, Big Baby Jonathan here. Welcome to the latest edition of the Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast show. And in today's show, I'm going to be talking about the Lakers win. 105 to 96, Lakers improved to 18 and 3 on the season. Let me get you my thoughts right now. My thoughts about the game overall, it was competitive as hell. It was really competitive. It's one, one seed versus two seed potential, West Conference Finals. So this game had a kind of a playoff atmosphere. The vibe was a playoff atmosphere. But in the first quarter, Lakers came out, defense came up to par, executed really well. Lakers uh, in, outscored um, the Nuggets 28 to 24 in the first quarter, really good. In the second quarter, we outscored them 32 to 26. Actually, excuse me, 32 to 25. But gotta give it up for AD, LeBron, Dwight Howard. They played great tonight. AD had 25 points plus 11 on the plus minus department, 10 rebounds. One assist, one block, one turnover. But his defensive pressure, his defensive mindset tonight was protect the rim because the Lakers kept getting a lot of goaltending calls early in the game and it kind of set the tone defensively early because Anthony Davis, Dwight Howard, Javel McGee were pl- playing at the rim. They're protecting the paint very well. And LeBron did his thing tonight 25 points plus four in the plus bonus, six for six from the fifth free throw line. 9 for 18, he had 9 assists, 6 rebounds. Great game from LeBron. And Danny Green struggled tonight. 2 for 12, unacceptable. You gotta do a better job next game, which is tomorrow. But Dwight Howard had 13 points, 6 rebounds, 2 blocks. Love the intensity. And we shot 46% from the field goals, and 29% from 3, and 66% from the free throw line. Gotta work on it. Gotta work on it early. When we didn't get a free throw until um, Paul Millsap got a technical foul in the second quarter. And he, we went over one there. Got to do a better job. But the defense on Nokolai Nokic, 4 for 12, ended with 13 points. Anthony Davis shut him down. Because this was all, oh, this whole Nuggets team was this. This Nuggets team could be a potential, uh, potential problem for the Lakers. We showed that we're going to be a problem for the Nuggets. You feel me? Because coming into this game, the Denver Nuggets were the best defensive team in the league. Gave up 105 points. We shut them down to 96 points. How about that? You feel me? But Paul Millsap ended with 21 points, 8 rebounds. Shot 3 for 3 from the free throw line. 2 for 3 from 3. 8 out of 14. They shot 40% from the field. 20% 20% from 3 and 94% from the uh, free throw line. And we had fast break points, 20, 20 fast break points, and we out rebounded them really good tonight. Really liked how we did tonight on the offensive rebounding department, man. Offensive rebounds 14 to their seven, defensive rebounds 42 to their 28, points off turnovers 20 to their nine. So we scored 20 points off their nine turnovers. Really liked how we played, but in the second half, Lakers were up 11 going into that. Actually, yeah, up 11 going into halftime. And Denver went on, a, I believe, a 13 to five run to start the third quarter. They tied the game and actually took the lead by one point. And then Anthony Davis, LeBron took over. Just really liked how AD played in the second half. His offense did his thing. A lot of pick and rolls. The Rondo, Troy Daniels, Troy Daniels had a good game tonight. Shot the three bar really well tonight. Um, Kuzma struggled. Javale McGee struggled. And Danny Green struggled. You gotta work on your your threes, man. You weren't you didn't do much tonight. But I really liked how AD and LeBron did their thing tonight. Just really liked how the defensive team came in. Like I told you, Laker Nation, maybe this loss do something for them. We beat the best defensive team in the league. They were coming into the game at number one. We put up 105 points. We out, we only outscored them in the fourth quarter by 1 point 21 to 20. But Free throws gotta do a better job. Free throws gotta do a better job. Sometimes in that game there's a lot of ISO ball, but towards the second half, we did a great job rotating, moving the ball side to side. LeBron kinda turned the ball over just a tiny bit, maybe like two two let me see here, let me check right here for y'all. Um let me turn over to LeBron half. Turnovers four turnovers for LeBron. He's second in the four, second in the league in the NBA in fourth court turnovers. You gotta limit those, LeBron. But I understand you try to you try to make those passes 
and then it gets deflected and turns over. It's understandable, Brian, but you played great tonight. Like I said, you're a plus four on the plus minus. Like the way you attacked early and often, you were, came out aggressive defensively. Really liked how you came in. You came in with the mindset, okay. And here's the other thing too. Lakers didn't have a shoot around today. LeBron got to the gym a little bit early today. And he had that look in his face that, okay, we're making a statement. And that's what we did tonight. I really liked how overall this team combined it defensively. Just overall rotating, blocking shots, protecting the paint, deflecting the passing lane, running, the, diving for loose balls. Just this team showed why we're, we're, we're up there. Um, now, now what is that? What is the haters going to say? What, what is ESPN going to say? Now, we beat a good team. We beat Denver. We beat San Antonio. We beat Dallas. We beat San Antonio, Dallas, um, Utah early in the season, and now Denver. That's four great teams. But they're saying, oh, it doesn't count because it's early in the season. Nah, 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 nah. Those four teams I just mentioned, they're a great team. We got Utah tomorrow. It's going to be a tough battle. Even though Utah got blown out a couple nights ago by 40, they've been struggling, but they always gear it for the Lakers. But just overall, like, what are you going to say now? We're 18-3, best record in the league. Our defense is up to par, and I really like just the defense talking, rotating. Diamond for loose ball, Alex Caruso came in and had a huge dunk. Put back dunk, made the crowd go crazy. Alex Caruso had six points, but he fouled out with six personal fouls. Overall, he did a solid game. Defense on Jamal Murray, but Jamal Murray ended with, uh, let me see here, 22 points, negative seven from plus minus. Shot 18 for 17 from the field. Um, we do a better job of that next game. You know what I mean? Just we, they didn't really have those type of games when we usually played Denver. You know what I mean? Just Denver usually plays really good. They we came in there and attacked early. You know what I mean? I liked what we did coming into the game. It was a big statement game for us, and uh, back to our winning ways. Like I said, I, like I said, man. Sometimes when you lose by 10. You learn from it. Like I said, I, I said we're gonna win. I said in my podcast yesterday that we're gonna win, and I was right. And I knew that the Lakers were gonna come in with the defensive mind to set, defensive mind. Frank Vogel does a great job preparing. The Lakers coaching staff does a great job preparing. So shout out to the Lakers coaching staff for putting in the game a good game plan tonight. And Dwight Howard, like I said earlier, played tremendous tonight. Defense, run the floor, blocking shots. He dunked on um, Nikolai Nurkic. Nur the Joker dunked on a man. He's and he had a couple huge block shots. He only had two, but he his defense was up to par. Him and Javale McGee on that back end when you force him to drive. Like I said earlier on my podcast yesterday, you force him to drive. If you get beat, have Javale McGee, Dwight Howard, or Anthony Davis on the back end, and that's what happened. You know what I mean? Javale McGee and uh, Anthony Davis got a lot of goaltending calls early, but that sent the tempo. Like, okay, we're gonna protect the paint. Love to protect the paint and um, just overall the, the uh, <clears throat> overall the, the points in the paint, 52 to 44. So we did a great job, but we fouled, actually, they fouled more than us. So it's overall it was a good game. 18 and 3. So what's ESPN going to say now? Like, like they're going to make some type of skits. Oh, they were, they were sick. No, we played a great game overall. Lakers did the thing, we, but things, um, what I don't like from the game tonight, up 11, going through those lapses. Um, we went 4 for 12 in the third quarter. Unacceptable. 4 for 12 in the third quarter, but we ended up getting outscored by 3, 27 to 24. Um, we got to do a better job in the second half of these games when we're up 11, man, because when you relax, like I said, when you relax up early, you're up 11, then... They come out, shoot a couple threes. Jamal Murray got going. Well, Barton got going. Paul Millsap got going. And then they took the lead, and then AD and LeBron took over in the fourth. And now Spruce made a couple good deflected, pat, deflected passes. A lot of putbacks from the team tonight. Love the putbacks. Love the offense rebounding tonight. Defense rebounding overall. We did a great job. Um, so for the game tomorrow, you got to come in with the same mindset defense. Hustle, grit, grind. You feel me? Two more games. We're one and all on this road trip. Let's, let's win these next two games and be 20 and three on the season, man. Really like what we did tonight. It showed championship toughness tonight. When they took that lead, we responded, executed well down the stretch. You know what I mean? It just 
this 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 Laker team is something special, man. And all you doubters, crickets, 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 crickets. So we have to say now, man. But I'm gonna end this Big Baby Johnson Sports Podcast show. I'm gonna leave all my social media in the description. And if you're new to my channel, the Big Baby Johnson Sports Podcast show, subscribe, turn on that post notification. Like the podcast, leave a comment in the comment section down below, and let me know what you think of the podcast. I love talking to my Laker familia, but before I get up on out of here, Lake Show, Laker Nation, you feel me? Laker Nation. Peace. We out you.